All right, folks, here we have a 2018 Ford F-250 XL extended cab short box 6.2 gas. This is a one owner truck with 82, just about to turn 83,000 miles. Uh, it's got 82.9 something. Um, all in all, real nice work truck. Um, runs and drives beautifully. So I... Uh, I just drove it 20 minutes down the road to get it washed, and it is a a very, very nice truck. Um, it's got a real nice set of Toyo Open Country tires that are, um, well, we'll say pretty close to new. I mean, uh, I'll show you here. These guys are, you know, pretty, pretty stinking new. So, uh, real nice tires. Real nice driving truck, uh, you know, lots of power in the 6.2, and extremely reliable. I mean, these trucks, you know, they could run for three, four, five hundred thousand as long as you're taking care of them. Um, and I've seen examples of these trucks with that on them, and they are still running and driving beautifully. Um, it is an XL, however, it does have power locks, power mirrors, and power windows. They're not power fold, they're not power extend. They do fold, and they do extend, but you have to do it manually. Um, over here we got our headlight switch, off, uh, parking lights, headlights, automatic lights. These are your rear cab lights for looking into the bed. These are your dimmers for your dash. You got three switches down here, which I don't believe are hooked up to anything currently. However, um, it would not be hard to put something there it is a manual uh, driver's side seat so you just get the lumbar support and the back adjustment as well as forward or backward with the bar here we'll hop in and I'll show you yeah. 82,989 this is probably gonna hit 83,000 right as I get back to the dealership so again one owner truck very well maintained uh spent its whole life in vancouver so here we got your steering wheel controls this is to control this menu over here so you can change things like your trip uh see your fuel economy vehicle settings um all that information is controlled through here this is your cruise control on off set resume and cancel here are your hands-free phone controls, answer a call, hang up, mute, and voice commands. These are your radio controls, so volume up. Volume down. Pretty straightforward. Here we got an electronic locking rear end. If you pull this out, here's your locker. You can see you got a little icon there up on the dash, let you know it's all locked up. You got Two high, four high, four low. So um, you can engage four high at any time as long as you're under 55 miles an hour and on um, not a dry surface. And what I mean when I say that is you do not want to be driving in four wheel drive at 55 miles an hour on a dry highway. It's not really good. Things start binding up, uh, you know case the front end's trying to fight the rear end especially if you start going around corners it's just not a good deal um four high is for icy roads snow uh dirt sand mud if you need it for those things as well four low you want to be stopped with the truck in neutral in order to engage four low it is only a crawling gear it's only to get you out of real sticky situations here's your integrated trailer brake controller you can see it slides there truck's dinging at me because there's no trailer connected you do have adjustable gain up and down right here and uh it ranges from i believe one to ten yep so it maxes out there at ten and then it goes in increments of half down to i believe one. Oh nope down all the way down to zero so we set that kind of right in the middle and uh the customer can adjust as they feel needed this truck did have a CB in it at one point because there is one mic holder. There is a, another mic holder. Um, obviously, it's no longer equipped with that, but it had it at one point. Uh, 
this is just some stuff that's kind of stuck on there. Uh, they had something mounted there. I couldn't get it off. Um, unfortunately, it is what it is. If you wanted to, you get a new faceplate. They're not that hard to replace. They're not overly expensive. Um, you know, uh, 100, 200 bucks, I believe. Don't quote me on it. Volume controls, up, down, tuning knob. This is for skipping between, uh, you know, presets. Um, your radio controls are all here. CD, uh, source, radio mute, clock, um, all those options are there. Track control off, as well as your hazards. This truck does have a full screen backup camera with the adaptive lines, so you can see right where the truck's going to be as you're backing up. Climate control is pretty simple, hot, cold, on, off, and where do you want it? Down here, we got a USB, as well as a 120, and a little cubby. You do get um, another storage cubby up there, right above the dash. And then you have the front jump seat. You do have a nice big center console up here. You can fold this up, have a third person set up front here. You can also fold the bottom up for more storage. So lots of cubby and storage options on this truck, which is super handy, especially if you're carrying a lot of tools or uh, paperwork or anything of that nature, really. These is an extended cab, so the doors do open like so, right? You can see that's halfway, pretty standard. Um, in 2017, or yes, 2017 when Ford changed body styles, they turned this into a fold flat open door. So that's real handy, um, especially if you gotta get big things in the back here. The back of the seat, or the bottom of the back seats folds up out of the way to make more room for other things. There's your tire iron right there. That just folds down. Nice, clean, heavy duty vinyl interior. Um, super easy to clean, a lot tougher than the cloth. Uh, you know, a lot harder to tear, a lot harder to rip. You do get two cup holders back here. They just fold up right there, as well as a 120 outlet. We will close this up and go to the other side here. So all in all, a really nice work truck. You can tell it wasn't super hammered on. The seats, uh, the cushions in the seats aren't deflated. There's no, you know, tears or paint stains or anything of that nature. Um, you know, obviously this truck was, was pretty well kept up and taken care of. So, um, yeah, we'll open this side here. And again, this side does the same thing. You can fold it all the way open. And there you have a completely open rear door. The bottom of this seat does fold up as well. You just pick them up and they latch up and then you pull that, they release, and they go back down. Back here is your bottle jack. And up here we got your center console. Paperwork's all in here. Uh, all the factory information that they give you. Oh, quit flopping around. There we go. Big old book there. And that just sits very nicely. You see it's got kind of a notch out there um, for that. That way you can have your whole glove compartment there. And then up here you got another storage cubby right there. So all in all, real nice truck. I'll show you the headliner here. It is also in fantastic shape. Uh, yeah, this truck does not have upfitter switches up top there. Um, just wasn't equipped with them. You get a sunglasses holder and then your dome light controls. Uh, nothing super fancy, pretty straightforward. Uh, let's go to, forgot to pop the hood. We'll come over here. We will pull the hood release, which is right here. Truck's dinging at me because it's running and the door's open. Let's see if we can one hand this. Oh yeah, all right. So there it is, 6.2 liter, made by Ford. Uh, yeah, all in all, real nice work truck. As you can see, nothing's squealing, nothing's knocking.
you know, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, we go down here, I'll show you underneath, and you can see there's nothing that's been soaked with oil or grease or um, a fluid of any sort because, you know, those tend to stay wet, especially on undercarriages. This is a very nice, very clean truck. Um, again, one owner, it's a 2018 with 83,000 miles, um, spent its whole life in Vancouver. It's got awesome service history. So that's all I have for you on this one. Come see us in Athol, Idaho. Give our website a visit at www.familymotorcoidaho.com.